What's up, what up? How you doing? Good, buddy. How are you? Doing good. I mean, other than absolutely killing it, which you've certainly been doing a lot lately, man. I'm loving everything you're doing. Appreciate that. How's it been going for you with your podcast? Uh, yeah, things are going great. Some of them are kind of blowing up. YouTube channel has been going really great lately, too. So, you know, we want to step more into the the video broadcast part of things too kind of like what you're doing you know um yeah. but yeah a lot of the podcasts are doing well our true crime shows are putting up like big time numbers which is pretty great you know that's cool bro um so for the people on my platform that don't know can you tell them a little bit about what you do in your podcast uh yeah so uh I am uh, a, originally a radio broadcaster uh, in Connecticut, uh, the River 105.9 Classic Rock Station. Met you uh, through Connecticut School of Broadcasting, um, where I still teach to this day. Started my own company, Clovercrest Media, in 2018. And it literally was Rome, uh, Donald Trump in that election. I don't like what was happening. <laughs> Somebody had to document it, and that literally was what started it. Shout out to Keys to the City uh, on one of our sports shows. They've been with me literally from day one, and uh, we've grown. We've got 42 podcasts now. We've actually got two more, and much three more in development, working on one tonight. Um, again, just hitting all genres of, of – we've got religion, we've got politics, true crime, pop culture – uh, a lot of sports shows, but just, you know, a, a wide diversity of of characters um, and, and shows and just – and here's what we say, Rome. If if you can't find a, a podcast on Clovercrest Media, start your own. We'll help you with that too. All right. So um, for the media company, what exactly do you guys do? Uh, we So we make 42 podcasts a week. Uh, we produce 42 shows, 12 live stream shows every week, um, all cross promoted across the network. Um, yeah, I'm I'm basically on a podcast seven days a week, and I edit and or produce uh, 14 other shows every week. That's a lot. So, yeah, uh, about 21 of the 42 right now, I literally have a hand in on a on a daily basis. That's a lot of shows. It is. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun, though. It beats, you know, anything else I can think of, I'll tell you that much. So, Right. Um, what's your uh, recent um, episode that you just came out with, and what's it about? Um, let's see. What did I do yesterday? Uh, yesterday, uh, we did an episode of Keys to the City, just rehashing the uh, football weekend, talking about how terrible the New York Giants are. Uh, <laughs> talking about how amazing the Yankees suddenly are. So, yeah, doing that. Um, starting a new show tonight with uh, a rapper I think you know, Auto Mars. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, great dude. He and I are uh, getting together tonight and, uh, yeah, uh, getting ready to launch another show. So that'll be very exciting. Topics TBD, but you could bet it's probably uh, everything that's going on right now uh, in the world and whatnot. So Cool. Um, is it just you or is your team on the show? Oh, it's always, I don't do anything alone. I always, I always got some great partners with me, you know, again, whether it's, um, oh boy, I'll piss you off shortly. Fun show we usually do on Monday nights. Didn't do one this past week with Rob Dunlap. Uh, that's a really great show and, and always a lot of fun. Victoria Lang and I do a show, Losers Pay Double on Tuesday nights. That's another one of my favorites. Um, again, mentioned the Keys Brothers. Um, Jace Garcia and the crew, all four downs, Obi Muniz. We do John about the G men. So do a lot of sports, uh, uh, MMA and boxing is something I've always been into. So we started doing a show Saturday mornings, throwing jabs. Um, and I'm working on my wife's true crime podcast, which is, uh, huge and, uh, makes all of the 
downloads on my shows look sad, which is <laughs> crazy because she's not a broadcaster. All right. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Um, what's some advice you could give for a person that um, wants to start doing radio or podcasting and doesn't? Is you got to practice. Of- you got to work at it. You know, um, the number one thing is, is you're working with or competing against, I should say, people who generally work six day weeks in this business. And most of us work seven. You know, if you're not doing your thing and honing your skills every day, not only do you have to catch up in terms of I've been doing this 25 years, you know, I'm doing it every single day. So I think that's the number one thing. If you want to do it, you got to be consistent. Um, you got to keep working at it. That's the only way to get better. And, and, and just like with life itself, rejection, uh, you can't be afraid of rejection. This is a business where a lot of people are going to tell you no, and you got to find the right people. You got to find people that like you, uh, people that are going to say yes. And they're out there. There's always going to be somebody, Rome, there's going to always be somebody who digs what you're doing. You just got to find that person. All right. Good advice. Yeah. What's, um, Again, I think you're a great example of that. I mean, you've been working so hard on this show, and I've seen you've had a lot of recent success. What what got you there was the consistency of doing it, even when it wasn't getting a lot of views, even when it wasn't getting the downloads. You stayed at it. You kept doing it. And here you are uh, kicking butt. Uh, <laughs> Anthony, hit me up later on today. I got some time, dude. Been trying to catch up with this guy. Yeah, man. <laughs> E.J. Lynx, he's very good. Um, so, yeah, and that's another thing. I mean, you know, always always looking out for the students, Rome. You know, anywhere I can help any of you guys out there, I'm always, always glad to help, especially, again, when I see somebody who's putting in the effort. I don't, I don't know that – I don't know that anybody puts more work in than you do. Thank you. You know, so – is 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 the success because you're amazing that helps or is it because you're working at it and you're consistent that's probably what it is too nice mix of both you yeah. know yeah what's a couple of new things um you got coming for the podcast um i gotta shout out carmen washington she's a comedian from meriden uh we had, I don't know we'd ever met before. We kind of ran in a similar circle, knew a lot of the same people. I went to high school with uh, some of her best friends. And um, she is going to be starting um, a comedy show. And uh, it's going to be at a bar, uh, which is which is in my home, fortunately. So we'll be able to control the environment. Uh, but but a, a very... Um, I don't want to give away too much. It's an interview show, but with a really unique style and twist. And it's going to be one second. It might be, Rome, what's your favorite color? The next thing might be, how do we solve the problems in the Middle East? Um, And if you don't want to answer a question, you'll be doing a shot. It's going to be a great show. So we got that one in development. I'm hoping to get that up and running by next week. That's going to be good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get you on there for sure. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, it'd be a good time. Well, you know, I don't want to take too much of your time. I really appreciate you for being on my show. Dude, anytime. Like I said, man, no, nobody nobody works harder than you. And so, I do it every time I go on Instagram. I can't help but see you, I feel like. Yeah. Like every day, you know? So, yeah. yeah. No, my pleasure, man. Uh, and, and continued success. Keep working at it, brother. You see how it works and you're killing it. So, knock it out. Thank you. You too. I will. All right. Have a good day. You too, bud. All right, Joe. Bye.